Hey guys, for today's video, I thought I would give you all an update on that mission of me getting all those Star Wars Funko Pops. You guys remember? So I'm going to give you a tour of the whole collection, all right? So stay tuned, don't go away. Let's watch a lot of Funko Pops. <laughs> So I know what you're thinking. How did she just jump into this Funko Pop collection? How is she doing it? What what are the ramifications? How, what are the outlines? What's the plan? Okay, the first thing I really did was research the Funko Pops and I made a list. This is my Funko Pop list. There are over 615. And I mean over because they're up to number 630, I think. And this list keeps me not only sane, but keeps me in check. Um, I know what you're thinking. I am old school, I need a list. But I also do scan my Funko Pops on the Funko Pop website to keep track of their value. But this list to keep track of the ones I have and the ones I still need. And as you can see, we have check marks and highlights. I have a lot of one. Uh, I have a lot that are already highlighted because thanks to my favorite stores in the area, I have now a lot of Funko Pops. First and foremost, I want to thank the number one Star Wars store where I live, around where I live, I should say. Um, Holocron, Austin, Texas. Um, my favorite person at Holocron, of course. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> Thanks for being awesome. Um, she's always helping me and always, you know, talking and we're all sharing Star Wars things. And she's also an amazing cosplayer. Oh my God. So guys, if you have not been to Holocron in Austin, you must go to Holocron because the vast majority of my collection is from Holocron. Now, when I have a, a, a Funko Pop that is n like a special item kind of thing, I also go to King's Cash and they always have specialty Funko Pops that I can't find in other places. So when I go to Holocron and I take my massive load with me of, of Funko Pops and I can't find them there, I go to King's Cash. Or um, one time we went four hours away to some place called Texas Toys. I think I did a video about that. If you guys don't remember, it's in my videos or I'll link it in the description. And of course, Happy Popping Family in Killeen, Texas. Also did a little short about that. So that is the vast majority of where I get all my Funko Pops. Holocron, King's Cash, Texas Toys. Happy Popping Family, also GameStop, and of course Walmart, Target, anywhere, because right now a lot of places are selling Funko Pops, but I still gotta always go back to Holocron because <laughs> you know they have other Star Wars things. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna get into the individual shelves that I have and show you all these pops, and hopefully that you guys will, you know, follow along. And these pops are just amazing. I'm seriously, that's my mission, to collect all Star Wars Funko Pops. Oh my gosh, that's a big mission. <laughs> Come on guys, let's go check them out. Okay, so let's start with the top line. We had to refigure out how we were gonna put the Funko Pops because we were running out of room. So we decided to put the boxes sideways, that way more Funko Pops fit all the way across. Now, one thing that I learned was that not only were there original Funko Pops, like the blue ones right here, that first came out, obviously, and there's also black boxes that are reprints. I found that by looking for the old ones that I don't have, that they are a little bit expensive. So I try to buy the reprints. If I happen to go somewhere, Comic-Con, a store that focuses on just Funko Pops, and I happen to find one of the blue boxes at a really good price, obviously I'm gonna grab it because those, those are the ones that are gonna increase in price throughout time. So as you can see, I have started over here. I have number one, uh, Darth Vader. That, that was actually a very lucky find thanks to my friends at King's Cash. That's where I get most of my Funko Pops. Hi guys. Um, and as you can see, I have them in numerical order. So I have like one, two, and then three, four. And of course I am missing some. The ones that I'm missing are the ones that I'm searching for. So I do internet searches, check Amazon, eBay, um, anywhere that I, I could think of that people might be selling their collection because I really want to have them all. One spot we get, bring them here and there always has to be some kind of like rearrangement of the Funko Pop. Like right now I have like five more that I just got recently that I have to <laughs> move them all and rearrange. Now, one thing that I learned was the variants. So some Funko Pops, they print one out 
and then they make variants in different colors, different styles. And once I buy the Funko Pops, what I do is I check the order where they're supposed to be and there has to be this whole rearrangement of the Pops because obviously they have to fit in numerical order. And right now I have about five that I just recently purchased that I'm going to wait till I have at least 10 that I've re recently purchased or, or I'm going to buy in the future to actually put them in where they go. If you guys hear the little feet, it's Jedi. She's walking around. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm not done with like the first hundred. I'm trying to at least complete the first hundred Funko Pops and get those sets and then I'm going to move on to the next hundred. So I'm not missing that many. If I sh would to show you my list right here, this is the page uh, from one to one hundred and I'm still missing a few. <laughs> so if you guys know where else I can get Funko Pops at a very good price, let me know in the comments. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe, okay, guys? <laughs> so, again, this is where I am with the from 1 to 100. And those are all up here. And it st also starts, as you can see, oh, some of these were, like, really rare finds. Like, this Princess Leia, I saw her. I hadn't seen her at all, and I was praying I could find her. And I went to um, a store in Killeen, and I was like, oh, my gosh, there's Princess. Actually, I think it was in ha Happy Popping Family. I also frequent Happy Popping Family in Killeen, Texas. Hi, guys. And I found her. I was like, nope, I can't leave her. I have to take her. Okay, as continuing on, the boxes obviously are different. Some of them come together, and they're like little collections within themselves. Like if it's from, uh, like for example, Rogue One, or it's from one of the prequels, or one of the, like Empire Strikes Back, the Funko Pops go together in series. And sometimes you get like all the numbers in a series, and then one of them is made after another series starts. And I'm like, oh, come on, guys. I want them all together, and I can't get them all together. And I'm going to show you an example of that a little later. Okay, so going back up here. Now, what I've been recently, like, searching for, and I was very lucky to get, except one, was the Star Wars Rebels. Because you guys know that the Ahsoka series is coming up. I did make some videos about that. Check them links in the description. So I do have Ahsoka. I have Kanan. I have uh, Sabine with her helmet and without, Ezra, um, Hera, <laughs> I am missing Chopper, if you guys can see that. I have Zeb right there. Now, this is an example right here, what I was telling you about, that they skip things in the series, because these are all Star Wars Re Rebels right here, right? And then it goes into Rogue One, but then over here, I have Captain Rex from Rebels, and uh, this here is one of my holy grails. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Guys, you will not have any idea what I went through to get him. And I was really lucky with this. Let me put my list in my pocket because, you know, I tend to lose it a lot. So even before the whole Ahsoka series thing, you know, came about, I happened to be at King's Cash again. <laughs> and uh, one of the gentlemen that is um, pre frequent there and is one of the owners of King's Cash, um, was bringing in his collection to sell and I happened to see that he had most of actually most of these uh, rebel figures that, um, that I got were from him and I saw this Thrawn but wow, I had to put him on layaway and make payments because he was expensive guys but worth it because he is now in the collection and right now for the price that I bought him for he's now worth more because every time I get the Funko Pops I scan them into the Funko app because I know you guys were thinking, why does she have a list when you can just do it on the Funko app? I do it both ways. I'm a visual kind of learner. I need to have the physical list with me. and But we also scan them into Funko Pop just to see if they have grown in price. And my friend Thrawn has indeed. So if you are a collector and you have a Thrawn, yes. <laughs> and of course I have Captain Rex. I'm missing a Chopper. That is the only one from, from Rebels that I'm missing. Chopper. I can't find Chopper. Alright, so continuing on, as you can see here, here we go into the sequels. <laughs> uh, we have Pork, <laughs> Luke Skywalker, Rey, of course, you know, these are mainly from uh, The Last Jedi. I can't believe I just said The Last Jedi. I am not a very big fan of The Last Jedi, just letting you know. Uh, personal reasons, uh, I won't discuss that right now. Maybe I'll make a video about it later. <laughs> and then over here, I have a couple from the... Han Solo movie, and then we come back to 
Clone Wars, he right here. See how they are in the series, Clone Wars. You know what I do like about about Funko Pops is that then they get silly because we have Vader holding a candy cane, and that is absolutely cute, adorable on so many levels. And of course, R <laughs> two with his little <laughs> Christmas decoration. <laughs> Every time I see the, and I'm missing a couple of these, obviously. If you can see, like, the number sequences, I am in the 200s missing a great deal. But again, I want to finish the 100 series to keep going. And oh, every month I have to budget. <laughs> Em's like, okay, that's enough. No more Funko Pops. And I'll just walk away with the feeling I, I should have gotten more. But, you know, in the times we're living, we do have to budget. But, but... I do like the fact that I also have Funko, FunkoPop.com where I could also order some of them if I see them. that I can't find it and it's there and I can order it. So that's also a good thing, which I also have to do another unboxing for you guys soon from so I can uh, show you what I, I get from Funko.com. All right, now this one right here, this Princess Leia, when I saw this, because I've, I've mentioned several times that Princess Leia is my favorite. <laughs> So every time I go out, I'm always looking first for Princess Leia. But this series is very cute, and can anybody tell me where or what of the which one of the movies these are from? Hmm? Anybody? Let's see. Just let me know in the comments. Now, this Boba Fett. <laughs> I am going to mention something about this Boba Fett. I mentioned earlier in the video that in this collection, not only are there just the normal Funko Pops, but they're also called variants. Variants is that they come in different styles, sizes, and colors. This Boba Fett 297 has seven or eight, right? I'm gonna say seven or eight because, but it has a lot. I do have a couple of them I'm gonna show you a little bit later, okay? And then of course, again, we're still within the sequels right here. I think this one we have right, Rise of Skywalker. Uh, I gotta say that out of the sequels, that one, that one is the one I enjoyed the most. And over here we start with The Mandalorian. Oh, and of course, see that what I mean? Between the series, they like throw out. But then again, the numbers are a little off here. They throw out like different, like this Vader. It's, this is lights and sound Vader, right? This Vader is lights and sounds. I love it. When I saw this, I actually, my brother got this for me. He was like, hey, guess what I found? And I said, what? Look at this. And I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> but we trade because he loves DC so much. When I see something that's DC, I send him a picture. I say, hey, look, I found this. You think you want it? And he's like, yes, please get it for me. And then he does the same thing for Star Wars. He's like, hey, I found this one. We can trade it. You get me the DC one and I'll give you the Star Wars one. And it just works out. It's a very good business arrangement that we have. <laughs> and then over here we have like a couple like, these are a special edition uh, Empire Strikes Back. Oh my gosh, guys, this one right here, the dark side ray. I mean, out of everything from the sequels, this moment was totally amazing. Just seeing a possibility of a future with a dark ray. I mean, even the pop, it looks so cool. And then of course, here we have like the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. A couple of Grogu coming down to the third line in this collection. Like seriously, we are running out of room, guys. I mean, before the boxes were facing forward and nothing fit. So this is why we decided to put the boxes facing this way. Saw a couple of videos and then other collectors are all putting them like this. I was hesitant at first, but then M convinced me. He's like, really need the space, so we have to switch him to this side. Okay, fine, convinced. So then um, we have some of the uh, concept series like Star Killer, uh, Chewbacca, looking a whole lot different than I've ever seen him. Then we have some of the the gaming Funkos like Darth Revan. Oh, this one was when I found this one. Which is was this one the one that I got in the mystery box? I think this was, no, this one I saw, oh, I went to an event. It was a Funko Pop swap. And one of the guys at, uh, selling was, ha I had this and I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, I need that Revan. I have to have that Revan in. I have the Revan. <laughs> um, oh, my mom got me this one. My mom. She's sweet. <laughs> She's very sweet. I love that. And then, of course, again, we have some of the Mandalorian different seasons. And, of course, over here... Clone Wars again. Darth Maul, also hard to find, guys. See, the, the hard to find ones, if you find them, grab them. Uh, sometimes I make the mistake and I say, you know what, it's here. I'll come back next week and I'll get it. And then I go back next week, it's gone. 
So lesson learned. If I see it, I'm taking it. I can't. I, I've had like six disappointments just using that mentality. <laughs> uh, this was a good find, the Qui Gon Jin. This was an amazing find. I believe I found this at a Comic Con. Was it the Dallas Expo? I think. And then of course we have the more more of the concept series right here. Ah, this one right here, and I think Bastila as well. These were the ones that I got in the mystery boxes from GameStop. Okay, those mystery boxes were amazing. I think there's another mystery box coming out either late August or early September, and I'm gonna go get that and do another unboxing for you guys. And of course, over here we have like the, we have uh, Ben Solo and Ray with a yellow lightsaber, here with the two lightsabers. This is uh, from Rise of Skywalker. Uh, here we have Bad Batch. Um, as I was collecting the Bad Batch Funkos, uh, the one that I could, I, I had Echo water right, actually I bought these four right here, right away. Wrecker here, my friend Wrecker was hard to find. Find. It took me a month to find a Wrecker Funko Pop. I guess he's just really popular because he's just really funny. And then I didn't even know because, I mean, I have the list, but I don't have pictures on them. So I had to print a new list with the pictures of the Funko Pops because I didn't know that there was an Omega Funko Pop for this collection, guys. I did not know. And I also found her at the Dallas Fan Expo. I just happened to look up and Emma's like, do you see that? I said, yes. I'm gonna need to take that too. <laughs> My brother uh, found me this Grievous because um, he's up and clean mo more than I am. So he sees the Funko Pops more than... Actually, I just heard my, my phone ding. So I'm, I'm assuming it's him. He's probably Funko Pop shopping right now. <laughs> Do you like variants, but not variants? He's like, like a different series, like uh, um, artist concepts. And these are so cute. Look at that. Of course, another Princess Leia from Yavin. And my phone is ringing again. <laughs> and more of the Mandalorian. More of the uh, concept series right here. Uh, this Han Solo is all tricked out, guys. I mean, do you imagine what would have happened if all of these things actually happened instead of the way it is right now? But, you know, since there's so many multi-universes right now and everything that's going on, you know, DC, Marvel, why not Star Wars? Different timelines, different things going on, you know? Never know. Could happen. This new <laughs> so down to the next line oh my goodness again we have more of the Mandalorian we also have Boba Fett Cobb Vanth, Cosca Reeves a special Mandalorian here with the dark saber the Valentine's Funko Pops because they have for Christmas they have for Valentine's they have for anything that they can come up with and they always look so cute I mean if I see the Mandalorian in my door with a Valentine I'm definitely opening it <laughs> And then we, uh, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> He's, uh, I'm sorry, no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Jar Jar, you're just too funny. Okay, and then of course here we have. Um, so these are like reprints from this collection from um, A New Hope, and then they put them in these lovely black boxes, a special edition. And then look at these Vaders, guys. There, I have them encased. So they don't get damaged. But look at this concept. Like this is Vader from Mustafar. I have the Vader from Hoth. I am missing the one from Endor and Ves Bespin. That Bes Oh my god, I can't talk today. <laughs> I also have an Obi Wan Kenobi. How cool is that? And then Power of the Galaxy Padme Amidala. I have a couple of those floating about here. And of course, there's more that I need to fit in. If you look at the numbers. <laughs> I have to fit them in and if we keep going I want you to notice that right here you guys notice what series did we just get into I'll give you a hint yes these are the Funko Pops that came out for Obi-Wan Kenobi and of course we have more see what I mean about the the fact that these are also from the gaming uh, Funko Pops and I had some on the other side and do you see what I mean where the, sometimes they, they break off a series and then they come back to it and bring bring out more pops in the series? And then of course we have the Winter Wonderland Funko Pops here. Darth Vader never looked so cheerful. Paz Vizsla, may he rest. <laughs> the Mandalorian after that Mudhorn battle. This is a thing, another one that, oh, that I got in one of those mystery boxes from GameStop. The Power of the Galaxy Princess Leia. Ah, oh, this Anakin Skywalker. Uh, I think this was also my brother. He seems to find these Funko Pops for easily. I'm so glad I have them. <laughs> and of course, more. Do you see what I mean? That watch. I'm gonna. I'm gonna point. I have them right here. And then if you go up. I have the other ones up here. See how they're in the same series but different numbers, so they're apart. And I wish I could put them together. I know I probably could, but it bugs me not to have them in numerical order. <laughs> That's my OCD. Don't try to. 
Oh, of course, Chewbacca. I want you guys to tell me in the comments where this Chewbacca is from, because I bet you don't know. I bet you don't know. And I will tell you that in the next video. Power of the Galaxy Ray. And my daughter definitely wants all of the Power of the Galaxy Funko Pops, all the lovely ladies. And of course, we keep going to this one is from the Book of Boba Fett. You can see we have, you know, Cad Bane, Majoromo, Grogu, the Mandalorian, Luke Skywalker training Grogu, and of course, Chrysanthemum. Very nice series. If you guys haven't checked it out, it is on Disney Plus. Go check it out. More Valentine's Pops. Oh my gosh, when this one came out, I was like so amazed because Em was like, check out this R2D2. This is a facet R2D2 because it's so shiny. And there's also a Vader, and I have that one too, but it's in a different, in a different it, part of the collection. Again, the numbers. These are, again, if you notice, these are the same pops I have in the black boxes, but they reprinted them as part of the 40th anniversary. And of course, this is the last line of the collection. Again, I have the um, 40th anniversary collection right here. I have it again from Clone Wars. This, here's the faceted Darth Vader. His number 600, guys. So this collection is growing and they keep continuing to make more. And I've seen other videos where some of the collections actually get to the number 1000. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna have to buy another house. Wait, I can't do that. <laughs> Not with this economy. <laughs> so here we have, um, these are actually the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, which if I haven't mentioned before, is my favorite in the whole series. All of you guys that love Empire, I know it's the best one, but my personal favorite is Return of the Jedi. I know, Em, I know. <laughs> and of course, when these came out, I was very lucky because as soon, these were like the, these are the most recent ones that they're coming out with. And I was able to find them, thank you Hot Topic, because Hot Topic, these are like Hot Topic exclusives, and I was able to find these. Um, I love the fact that we have uh, Darth Vader without his helmet, so technically this is Anakin when he's already reverted back to being himself a, a good Jedi, you know, back to the light side of the Force. And of course, Leia Bush. Oh my gosh, this is such a fine. But I have this Leia Bush all the way up there, as well as one of the original ones, which is all the way up there. <laughs> you can't really see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but Emma will probably have to um, zoom in on that one later. But finding this was just amazing because my love for Carrie Fisher and Princess Leia. Um, and of course, I cracked up because as soon as I saw Admiral Akbar, I heard somebody say, It's a trap! <laughs> and of course, uh, more of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Again, they made all of these and then they continued with the Obi-Wan. I'm missing a Spurred Trooper and a... So let me tell you this little story. So we go to Corpus Christi and there's a store there, Texas Toys. I believe I made a video for you guys. If, if you haven't seen it, um, check it out on my channel and the link is in the description. And I'm looking through the Funko Pops, of course, and I see the Vader that I'm missing in that collection. And I say to Em, hey, grab me that Vader. So we grabbed it. Okay, I didn't look. I just, you know, we paid. And of course, Corpus Christi from where I am is almost four hours. So if I want to go to that store again, I have to wait and recuperate the funds, obviously, because, you know, it's four hours. As soon as I got home, I start taking it out of the bag and, I, and then I look at the Vader that Em grabbed and I go, sweetheart. Yes. I said Vader 543. You grabbed me the Vader 539, the one I already have. I pointed at 543. I mean, it's okay because, you know, he did have a couple of, you know, Funkos in his hand. He was juggling for me because, again, with my cane, I can't carry a lot of things in my hands. So I forgave him. Kind of. So I'm missing that Vader, and I'm still hunting for it because I can't find it now. Uh, I like the fact that we have the young Luke Skywalker. Recently, they did just have now the young Princess Leia from the series. I don't have it, but my brother, being the amazing brother that he is, and I know he's watching, Trey, gotta love you. He actually ordered for me that Princess Leia from Entertainment Earth, which is another good place to get Funko Pops. <laughs> And over here we have uh, Celebrating Pride Funko Pops. I love these, they're so colorful. And of course, you, you know, you gotta celebrate Pride. <laughs> and over here I have, this is actually a rare find because I didn't even know that this existed. Um, they had posted a couple of Funko Pops and I went to buy them. <laughs> and when I got there, this one, they hadn't posted a picture. It was just on the counter and I said, hey, this one right here, let me see it. And it was at a good price. And actually guys, 
M got it for me. He bought it for me as a gift just because he's so sweet. You gotta love him. He's behind the camera right now. <laughs> he's looking at me like, no. <laughs> He doesn't like being in front of the camera. I'm trying to convince him. Maybe if we can get to 1,000 subscribers, I can actually put him on camera. Help me, guys. Let's get 1,000 subscribers. Continuing. <laughs> Here, and then we start with these big boxes. Uh, the, big, the big ones are scenes from movies and from the series and stuff like that. Um, again, when I first started the collection, I didn't know that these were a thing. As I was going, you know, starting to buy Funko Pops and I started discovering this, I was like, oh, I'm going to need a bigger room. So here we have um, Dagobah Yoda with the hut from the 40th anniversary. As you can see, when they're in part of a specific collection, even the boxes have the same color. Because then, of course, over here we have Luke with his Tauntaun from Empire. So these, when you see the boxes, how they are in the same color, they're part of the same series, so to speak. Oh my goodness, I need to shuffle down because uh, there's Grogu over there eating the canister of eggs and that's from the Mandalorian. And then we have another 40th anniversary, which is uh, Darth Vader versus Luke Skywalker. Of course, one of the most epic battles ever in Star Wars history. You guys know what I mean. And then now I'm going to continue on with the rest of the collection because Obviously, I still have space there, but the collection is on the other side of the room. So now I'm on the other side of the room, or technically the den, the office, my space to record videos as well. And we start here. I bought the Wampa Spig Soda, 3 liter soda. I didn't get the chase, but that's okay. Maybe someday I will try again. But I have to think about it because it's kind of expensive. Um, we have little, I have little Funko Pops here, like bubble heads. Um, I also have, as you can see, the collection of Among Us. I have videos of doing unboxings. They're all on my channel, guys. Uh, M loves Among Us, and I love it too. We love playing as a family, and it's pretty cool. Um, of course, I have to have my little Grogu, and then of the other Grogu, this, uh, this is a funny story. <laughs> Because I bought this actually at uh, Five Below and I bought it for a really good price and so far for some reason this one has elevated in price. It has blown away. I mean now if you try to buy one it's almost $30. And I have my Princess Leia right here from Return of the Jedi on Endor. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go up now because up here on top of my cabinets we have the 10 inch Funko Pop. Um, I did a video where I was thanking my best friend Harry. He's the one that got me the 10 inch Grogu and the 10 inch Mandalorian. And they're still wrapped in plastic because I'm trying to protect them. Um, my brother Trey got me this Bobble Freak and the Lando in the Millennium Falcon. That was an amazing find. Thank you, Trey. And thank you, Harry. Of course, moving a little bit down, we're going to have some more movie moments. Of course, I have a little Princess Leia. This is what this is actually the first Funko Pop I ever bought. I bought this, what is it, like five years ago or maybe six? I didn't know that, you know, Funko Pop was a thing yet. I had just bought it because it's Princess Leia. Honestly, I bought it just because it's Princess Leia. And it's now that I realize I should have kept her in her box. I didn't even keep the boxes. I didn't know this whole thing, you know, would explode kind of the way it did. Um, here we have more movie moments. Um, I think I f these, oh, I found these in uh, also the clean store. One of the clean stores. Well, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> but of course, more movie moments. We have, um, oh, this is it where they're in the little trash compactor and they're fighting. So it's Luke and Princess Leia. Then I have Vader and Luke fighting on Bespin in uh, Empire. Luke in his training moments at the Dagobah face off. As you can see, you know. It's pretty cool. The, the, all of these right here, these movie moments, are so cool. And then I have this uh, Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary uh, Vader in his little chamber. This is a good find. I'm going to scroll up that way. <laughs> and we have Chewbacca with an ATST. So he's inside that one. This is from, obviously, also Return of the Jedi. We have the lovely Mandalorian right here with Grogu. We have Han Solo and Greedo in that infamous scene that we all know Han shot first. I don't care. He did it. Whatever. <laughs> then facing off down here, we have, again, Mandalorian with Grogu. We have uh, Boba Fett. <laughs> Jedi, sweetie, calm down. And Fennec on the throne because this is, this is from the Book of Boba Fett. And, of course, Ben Kenobi on... I'm going to pronounce this correctly, hopefully. E-O-P. E-E-P. Okay, I'm not even going to try. 
I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> so we're gonna come down a little bit on the top of my desk right here. I'm gonna show you, oh my gosh, guys. So here's a little figure of a uh, 3PO three, three that I have. I'm gonna move him for a little bit and show you this right here. Oh my gosh, this Darth Vader diecast collectible. This was a find, guys. But before you're thinking, did you get the chase? No, I didn't. I have the regular one. And it was actually, again, my brother who found this for me and bought it for me. And he already knew because apparently someone had resold it to the store where he got it. He bought it because he knew that it was part of the collection and that I would love it. Someday I'm going to buy one from FunkoPop.com to see if I get a chase. Um, this is way out of character for me. I have right here a Wonder Woman Funko Pop. Uh, Wonder Woman is my favorite superhero. Uh, I grew up with Wonder Woman, the Linda Carter Wonder Woman. So this Funko Pop is actually, you know, has special meaning to me. So this is why it's here. <laughs> I know it's not part of the whole lore of Star Wars, but it, it has special meaning for me. That's why when I saw it, I had to buy it. <laughs> Jedi is fighting with her toys right now, in case you hear that in the background. Um, here we have those boxes that bring the three Funko Pops. You have Tarful, the Unhooded Emperor, and the Utapu, or Tup, Utapu, oh my gosh, <laughs> Utapau Clone Trooper. <laughs> Me and my pronunciation. So this is a three pack um, Walmart exclusive. Over here I have um, Han Solo and Leia, of course. This is the scene where Han Solo is going to be encased in the carbonite. I love you. I know. I have this concept. Uh, Luke Skywalker also. The ones that I have outside of the boxes, they're outside of the boxes because when I bought them again, I didn't know that Funko Pop was a thing. I just thought they were cute decorations and, of course, Star Wars. And you'll see later, I'm going to show you all the ones that I have outside of boxes, the ones that I bought before I you know, knew all the, the lore of the Funko Pops. Um, we have a little Vader here from Return of the Jedi. This cute little tiny little pop. It's so cute. Behind here, I have this find that I found in a Barnes & Noble. Luke Skywalker with the um, <clears throat> movie poster in the back. This was definitely a find. I saw it. I was like, I am not waiting. I am taking it with me. I followed my own rule. Take it with you when you see it. I have a little figurine of a uh, bo there. More Among Us. <laughs> Behind the Among Us, actually this, I say Among Us, this, this is a character I use in Among Us. I'm always the purple one with the mohawk. <laughs> so if you ever play Among Us and you see my, my name's Ayao, let's, let, let's play. <laughs> Alright, uh, more movie moments. Uh, we have another movie moment here, Escape Pod Landing. This is from A New Hope, obviously C-3PO C C three PO and R2-D2. Uh, these ones right here, oh, I need to move, maneuver over here. So uh, these are also recent ones. They started to bring out more of the from the re 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi. This is going to be from the the barge of the Jabba the Hutt where they're about to be thrown into the Sarlacc pit. So here we have Luke on one part of that little ship already with his lightsaber, Chewbacca, you know, doing his thing. Uh, there are more pieces coming out. They haven't come out yet, and you can see it is uh, only a Target, so it's a Target exclusive. Um, I'm waiting patiently for the next ones in the series because they all interconnect together. Even though I don't take them out of the boxes. Uh, I just, I need to have them. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to roll down here. I'm going to show you what I have in my area. Look at my Funko Soda Pops. Um, uh, had some very special people give these little bobbleheads to me. I'm not going to say who yet because, you know, it's part of my other job and I'm not going to mention my job yet. Thousand subscribers and I'll tell you what I do for a living. Aside from YouTubing. <laughs> I have my... Um, my Lego set here of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader from the series. I have, uh, oh my gosh, I was so lucky. This was the first Funko Soda Pop that I bought ever, and I got the chase on the first try. Then I was like, well, let me try again, because I have the Darth Maul. Didn't get the chase. Oh, it has, it's, it's uh, Queen of Medalla. I did not get the chase. So, so far, Obi-Wan has been the only chase that I have gotten. Of course, more little figurines, little bobbleheads and everything that I've gotten gifts. Look at this cute little pin right here. I got this also as a gift at my job. Soda pops here. No chases, but you know, let's keep it going. Okay, now I'm gonna switch really quick because I have to switch to another wall so I can show you more. I know, weird angle, right? Well, M is on top of the chair because the next ones we're gonna show you are actually so high up that you won't even see my hand, but I will be talking. Oh my goodness, and, and Jedi's, you know, right here. So I'm gonna show you guys what we have up here. M, don't fall out of the chair. So over here again, we have more of the bigger boxes. 
This Chewbacca I had to have at the moment I saw him because not only is he an Amazon exclusive, but he's flocked. That means that, of course, he's very soft, but you know, I had to have him. And he's obviously from being a uh, Empire Strikes Back on Hoth. Uh, next is another collection. This is the Bounty Hunters collection. We have Bosk, Forlom, Dengar, and Zuckus or Zuckus. One of those two. They are all GameStop exclusives. I am missing three of them. Uh, I think Vader, Boba Fett, and IG-88. Um, they're part of, they all also interconnect, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but I'm still missing those three. I don't know where I'm gonna put them because I'm really running out of room. Over here we have from the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Uh, obviously we have Jabba the Hutt and Salacious B. Crumb. <laughs> I keep hearing him in my head going, <laughs> <laughs> and over here I forgot to show you er, um, earlier that I also, they came out with itty bitty Funko Pops right here guys. And I decided like I, I was at Target with M and I was like, let's see if they have them. And he's like, did you show me that you saw them? I was like, they're supposed to be here. I saw them online. And he goes, is that it? And I'm like, yes. And there were only four boxes left. And those four boxes were each of the collection because there's, there's four series. And they were all four series were there. So I brought them home. I also did an unboxing video, guys. And it's also in my channel. And the link will also be in the description. And I happen to have gotten all of the rare ones except the rare Chrome Trooper. That is the only one I'm missing. Because if you can see, I have two repeats of, uh, of Tarkin right here. Which I'm going to trade with my brother because I think he has something that I need. Or he had, oh no, because he's gotten like five hammerheads. And I said, you know what, I'll, he's missing a Tarkin. I said, I'll give you the Tarkin. I'll take the hammerhead, no worries. And of course, I have some loose again right here. I have BB-8, I have Zoe Bliss, and I have a, another uh, uh, Death Trooper right here out of the boxes. Okay, so now we're going to switch, and I'm going to show you now what I was talking about, the variants, guys. Okay, guys, she's comfortable on my shoulder, so I'm just going to leave her there. Hi. Oh, this angle, wow. My neck's gonna be sore later. Okay, so you guys remember I mentioned earlier that some of the Funko Pops have variants. That means that they either come in different colors, different styles. It's the same Funko Pop, but something is different about them. And again, I did not know this when I started the collection. I stumbled upon this one day where I saw, I was like, I, I know I have this pop, but this one looks the same. And I brought them home and I was like, oh no, they're different. So I'm gonna show you that part of the collection, which is right that way. <laughs> so as you can see, um, for example, this one, this uh, <clears throat> number five is a Stormtrooper and I have the regular Stormtrooper and this one, it happens to be red. And it's also a Target exclusive. Next to him, I have the number six Chewbacca from Hoth, but this Chewbacca has snow on him. The other Chewbacca does not. And it's right next door. This is the reprint of the same Chewbacca. I have the other Chewbacca of the blue box. Like I said, the more expensive ones. So this next one right here, the number eight, is a prototype for Boba Fett. I think it looks pretty cool for being a prototype. I don't know exactly why they decided to make this a Funko Pop, but I'm glad that they did because it is a very nice addition to the collection. Next to it, we have Luke Skywalker from Hoth, obviously uh, Empire Strikes Back. And this one is a variant because it comes with the little emblem right there on the, on the corner. Next to it, we have Princess Leia in gold. I also have the regular Princess Leia from Region of the Jedi, Walmart exclusive. The next one also has an emblem, which is Wicket from Empire to 90. I didn't realize that this one even had a variant. I, I stumbled upon it as well. And here we come to the biggest variants that there are. These uh, Boba Fett, this 297, has of seven or eight variants. Different colors, different styles, different sizes. There's the regular size, and then there's also 10 inch uh, variants. And they're all the same 297. And these are the ones I have so far. I think I have a few of them on layaway. They're coming home soon, so <laughs> you'll see uh, an unboxing video about that. Then we go to the Lights and Sounds 308 Kylo Ren. Next to that, we have the 345 uh, Mandalorian, which glows in the dark. And it's an exclusive. Now I'm going to switch over to the other side. And then we have the same Mandalorian 345, another variant, but in a chrome red. You can see, same number, same Funko Pop, different variants. And of course, I have this one I'm proud of because it's uh, Moff Gideon, the 380. Uh, he ha he's a variant because the Darksaber in one is in his right hand and in the other one it's in his left hand. 
So it's different styles of how he's holding the dark saber. And this one glows in the dark. We have the Mandalorian 402 Special Edition, also with the emblem. 462 Boba Fett, but in chrome red. The Chase bo without her helmet. The Chase Cobb Vanth without the helmet. A Special Edition Make-A-Wish BB-8. And of course, uh, we have Princess Leia and R2-D2. Uh, this is just where they would fit. These aren't variants. This is just a two-pack, but this is the only place I could fit them. <laughs> so before I show you the holy grails of this collection for me, I wanted to show you some of the three-packs and two-packs that I still have. I have an R2 and R5 uh, two-pack that I found at a GameStop. I also have a... This one was in the Dallas Fan Expo. I was so excited that I actually found the Ghost... Uh, the Force Ghosts of Anakin, Yoda, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Young Anakin, by the way. I know a lot of people do not agree with that, but Young Anakin is the way that George Lucas decided to show it. Then over here, I have a three-pack of Tebow, Chief Chirpa, and Logre from, again, Return of the Jedi. These are the Ewoks that were helping them out. And over here, I have a t-shirt pack with a Funko of the Ronin from Star Wars Visions. And of course, now, I want to show you my holy grail. So right here, guys, these are, I call these my holy grails because these are my autographed Funkos. I have the number 8 Boba Fett signed by Daniel Logan. I have the Ahsoka 467 signed by Rosario Dawson. And last but certainly not least, I have uh, Fennec Shan 483 signed by Ming-Na Wen. These are my prized possessions, guys, and I'm so proud to own them and have met these fabulous actors bringing these characters to life and just making me adore them even more so i thank you not only for signing my pops but just for creating these characters okay guys so this is basically the end of the tour of all my funko pops and taking inventory of course i'm ending holding my thron because this is also uh it's not signed but it is a holy grail because it was so hard to find it has grown so much in value and it is just amazing and I cannot wait for the Ahsoka series. Um, I'm going to take a moment again to thank all the local uh, businesses that helped me out with, uh, with my Funko Pop shopping. Uh, first and foremost, my favorite Star Wars store on the planet, Holocron, located in Austin. Uh, there is also one located in Fort Worth, just letting you guys know. Obviously, King's Cash, uh, Texas Toys, uh, Happy Popping Family in Killeen, Texas. If you guys ever get over there to uh, Killeen, check out those stores. Don't forget, Holocron, King's Cash, Texas Toys, and Happy Popping Family. All these guys can help you out with your Funko Pop needs. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little tour and inventory of all my Funko Pops. And of course, remember, as always, don't forget, like and subscribe before I end the video. <laughs> I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers, guys. So all the help that you guys can give me, I would really appreciate it. It just helps me bring you guys more content and just sharing everything that I do with you guys. Okay? So as always, remember, from my heart to yours, put some love out into the universe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.